Welcome to Ethanol Producer Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jacob Noterman. Before we get started, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Iowa Economic Development Authority. Iowa is the best place for establishing biochemical production facilities for three reasons. The first is that the U.S. Department of Agriculture said Iowa's Renewable Chemical Production Tax Credit is the strongest incentive for the biochemical industry. The second is that Iowa is home to more than 50 bioprocessing sites. And the third is that Iowa is a center of academic research into biochemicals. To learn more about why Iowa is the best place for biochemical production, visit iowaeconomicdevelopment.com forward slash bioproducts. Enerchem has received approval from the U.S. EPA to generate D3 Renewable Identification Numbers, or RINs, under the Renewable Fuel Standard for volumes of cellulosic ethanol it exports to the U.S. The approval pertains to cellulosic ethanol produced at the company's cellulosic biorefinery in Edmonton, Alberta. The facility began producing and selling bio-based methanol in 2016. Earlier this year, Enerchem installed a methanol-to-ethanol conversion unit allowing the plant to produce cellulosic ethanol from municipal solid waste feedstock. On November 2nd, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf sent a letter to U.S. EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt asking him to waive a portion of the 2017 and 2018 Renewable Fuel Standard volume requirements. The waiver request follows a similar letter Wolf sent to President Trump in late October asking the administration to waive RFS renewable volume obligations for Northeast refiners due to high RIN prices. In the letter to Pruitt, Wolf asked the EPA to set the implied conventional mandate at no more than 9.7% of annual gasoline demand. The Renewable Fuels Association has spoken out against Wolf's waiver request. RFA CEO Bob Deneen said Wolf is prioritizing the failed business plan of an aging refinery ahead of jobs in the agriculture sector and reduced prices for consumers at the pump. The Renewable Fuels Association has announced crowdsourced data on its E85Prices.com website shows that the national price spread between regular unleaded gasoline and E85 has never been greater during the 17 years of tracking on the website. On November 8th, the RFA said the price differential was currently at 33% for the month of November, more than 8% higher than any month in recorded history on the website. The advantageous price scenario is attributed to both the widening price spread between ethanol and gasoline and the strong value of RIN credits. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the ethanol industry's top stories.